Well, ABC 10 has relentlessly investigated the campfire since it destroyed the town of Paradise and took 85 lives nearly three years ago. We previously told you that we sued pg and state regulators, trying to bring you more facts about how the state responded to the company's crimes. Reporter Brandon Brittiman leads our firepower money investigation and has an update on our lawsuit. California's state Supreme Court is now asking for answers based on ABC 10's investigation of the state's bailout of PG&E. Specifically, we went after communications between four key staffers in Governor Gavin Newsom's office and the supposedly independent state regulator of PG&E, the California Public Utilities Commission, which is led by President Mary Bell Batcher, a Newsom appointee. The agency refused to give those communications to us when we asked under state transparency laws, so we sued the agency. A lower court backed up the CPUC, but now the state Supreme Court is asking them to explain themselves more. We asked in part because we talked to the woman who ran the CPUC day to day, both during the 2018 campfire and the state government's response to it. She told us that instead of operating independently the way it's supposed to under the state constitution, it took marching orders from Governor Newsom's office. We do whatever the governor tells us to do, period. It's really important to remember that what we're investigating here is the state government's response to crimes. PG&E pleaded guilty to 85 felonies after the town of Paradise burned down in the 2018 campfire. Those crimes included 84 felony counts of manslaughter for killing innocent people in that fire. Our investigation has been going on for three years. You can see our latest coverage of the complicated state plan to bail PG&E out. Just type in firepowermoney.com. And the CPUC's answers are due to the Supreme Court the Monday after next.